Hello there, Sarfancy here and welcome in this video where I will show you how to do sculpting right in Unreal Engine. Unbelievable until a moment ago. But now we can actually do it. So if you haven't seen previous video about the polygonal modeling, I would definitely recommend it. But if you don't want to, just make sure that you have enabled mesh editing and that means mod in plugins in modeling tools editor mode and polygon editing right here it's in beta and you will have to restart your project after that but other than that it should work so if you do it there should be new colon in modes and that should be modeling so let's switch it to it and let's start by creating some primitive model click on primitive and add here sphere uh, in st from start it will be on box and all that will be set to default so let's set it to sphere Type 0, oh, type, type 2 actually. I don't know why I said it was 0. <laughs> and let's add some uh, polygons. You know what? Let's actually leave it like that. Yes. Click and click on complete. Then let's scale it up a little bit. And if we look at polygons, it should look quite fine, but that's not what we want. Okay, let's leave it like that. Go on lit and click on Vox Merge which should rescale it for us and add some polygons to sculpt. Uh, let's set voxel count to 150, a little bit higher than it is now and click on accept. So now you could say that our mesh is prepared for sculpting. You of course don't need to always have your mesh prepared or do anything with it. Ah, that's just what I want to do to show you all tools. So let's click on, da -da -da. let's one more time see our polygon, our mesh. You can see that it has completely different wireframe. So now we can work with that. And for that, let's go to deform tab and click on sculpt. And you need to work with this setting on the left. Uh, first of all, let's start with brush. That's pretty simple. You need to select size and depth, how uh, much you want it to take basically. Okay, you can set up fall off, which is basically how much from the center, as you can see a little circle in that huge blue circle will it take. If I set it to zero, it will be only, uh, it will be all of it actually, it will take a huge chunk of it without any fall off. But if I set it to one, it will be only a small circle inside it and you can see what it is doing. Okay, let's take it back and set it as it was. Then sculpting brush type, that's where you will spend most of your time. You can of course set up strength, how much you want it to take. For example, if I set it to one, you can see that it's taking quite a lot. Uh, you can't actually see it with brush type move. So let's change it to uh, da -da -da. sculpt normal will be best. And that will show you if I just click, you can see how it is growing. But if I select it to 0 0.5 as it was, it won't be as huge as it was before. Okay, of course, if, uh, if you are experienced sculptor, then you want to know how to smooth it, but, and that's simply by pressing shift. You just need to press shift and it will smooth everything down. I am starting to be kind of afraid what I have just created here. God damn it. Not important. So let's look at what we can set up here. You can use different brushes. Move was what I have shown you at the start. That's something you won't probably use that much, but if you do... I don't know, but you are weird. <laughs> and let's, let's get to sculpt normal or sculpt viewport. That's what you are going to be working with most of the time. As I understand it, if you use sculpt viewport, it the height of the, your sculpting material of your sculpting clay will be facing to you to your viewport. And if you sell, uh, set it to sculpt normal, it will sculpt it in the same direction as is your weird object blue. I don't know what that, what kind of object is that? Anyway, not important. Right now we have created some kind, at least you probably didn't, I have created some kind of weird brain damaged sphere. Let's see what else we can do with it to make it a little bit less brain damage. Oh, that's more, that's actually already brain dead. Inflate, usually just add the material that you need it. Let's say that I sculpted something here and I would want to add something to it. So for that I can use inflate and make it bigger okay we made it more brain better than 
Not important, that's not why we are here. <laughs> we are not here to make things, but ain't that. Uh, let's click on pinch, which should basically take all the clay that's around it, uh, where you click and put it together. Let's see. I can see that it works. Very useful if you are making something hard surface or just need to connect two things. That is, of course, flatten if you just want to have something flat. For that, it's usually better to have a bigger size of your brush and try to flatten it. Doesn't really work, so let's make it even bigger and strength higher. It seems it looks sort of flattened. It actually doesn't work as well as it does in uh, uh, Blender, for example. That's about it for basic sculpting, so let's accept it. And now you can see brain dead sculpting. It's not even a sphere anymore. Until now we have, we have used sculpt, but you can also use the dynasco dynasculpt. How do you read it? What the hell? Can they use like, I don't know, something pronounceable? With uh, basic sculpting, you are working with uh, mesh, with all the triangles and mesh that you already have. And with Dyna sculpting, you are creating creating new ones where you need to. Let me show you where it can be very useful. Well, not probably with smooth. Uh, also, Dyna sculpt is of course much more performance heavy, and much more performance heavy for your final game because it will create a lot of uh, triangles. But we can decrease that later, which I will show you in a moment. And let me show it with move. Move actually quite shines if it's a dinoscope. So let's select it all. And now you can just take it wherever you want. You can see that it is always creating new triangles. But it is already lagging on my computer and I suppose it will be on most. Uh, let's make sure to notice that coating features and modeling features are still in beta. So they have a right to lag for now. All the other setting works pretty much the same. You can show wireframe if you want. Now you can actually see how much triangles it created just by this. But now you can see that I have weird... Okay, I don't even know what it is right now, but it works. <laughs> so what I can do right now is to decrease somehow this amount of triangles. For that, let's go to triangles. And you can see here setting for the simplify and the remesh. You can start by remeshing it because I can show you what it actually does. Do, do, do. Even though in this case you would probably want to use only simplify. So remesh will basically take your whole your mesh and put possibly a same amount of polygons on its surface everywhere where it could. So it looks still the same, but it has same amount of polygons everywhere. You can of course select target triangles as you want to. From the start it was on 5000. And now it's it, this is on 5000 as you can see, but it doesn't really seem like it fits. So let's go with 8000. You can of course decrease amount of polygons with this as well, even though I probably wouldn't recommend it. Now I'm setting it to 12,000 polar triangles. Let's see what it will do. Okay, accept it and set it to it. I can see it decreased them a little bit. It still looks pretty fine. You can use it for whatever. But now let's actually decrease some of these materials. So let's click on simplify. And you can see that it already did exactly what I wanted with it. Uh, from the start, you was have it set to 50%. You can of course uh, change its target mode to triangle count as well, so you can uh, select exactly what uh, what amount of triangles you want to have there. For example, for example, this is 1000 triangles, or you can just set it to percentage and say that you want 10% of what it was before and click on accept. And that's what it created. Let's look at how it looks like, brush wireframe, and it's not that bad. It can be actually used pretty fine. Okay, let's go back to lid mode and see if textures fit on it. That's something I think that Unreal Engine doesn't really do well yet, at least for now. So for example, let's use... If it won't have pattern, you can probably use any material you want, especially if it is repeating. And right here you can see that, you know what, let's show it with something that it will actually look, look like it doesn't work, which is exactly this. You can see that this material should look like this. But oh, you can see it over my head, my bad. <laughs> it should work like this. And it's from starter content, oh, by the way. 
but it doesn't work because it doesn't have any UV map. And we can do that by clicking on UVs and normal. In this case, you can try UV projection, which actually seems to work very good. I'm surprised how well it works. So I can just select it and let's say that I don't like scale how big it is. So I can scale it to two and two in UV scale right here. And that actually looks much worse. <laughs> let's go to three and three and accept it. The other way around is of course to use the transform UV if you want. I have talked about it in previous tutorial where you can change its UVs by hand, even though I probably wouldn't recommend to do it in Unreal Engine. Let's accept it and you can select auto unwrap, which will create UV maps automatically by some algorithm. The problem is that it's a little bit harder to scale it than UV scale here, which you would expect would help, doesn't really work for some reason. Or at least I don't know how to use it. If you know, write down comment. And one more thing, when you are writing down comment how stupid I am about that, press the like button. Thanks. <laughs> okay, cancel it. And let's delete it and quickly see what, and uh, let me quickly show you how would I use sculpting as a level designer, for example. Okay, let's create new primitive cube, why not? Compile it and let's put some material on it. For example, this is grass. And let's create some weird landscape. Let's use Dynascope and it probably will break it completely, but we will see. You can see right here, it shows us error that once I will interact with it in some way, it will delete UVs, which may be a problem. So I can select preserve UV flows, which will save these UVs, but it also probably won't let me do everything I would if I didn't have to take care of UVs. So let's make it a little bit bigger and let's build something here. Okay, accept it and see what it created. <laughs> That's actually much worse than I expected. What the hell is that? Okay, click on it and first of all, let's smooth it, which should be in a uh, just uh, deform, smooth. Okay, that's cool. Accept it. Then go to UVs normals and da -da -da, click on auto unwrap. Actually, I have realized why it is so slow. I haven't decreased it. I need to simplify it before I will action, of course. I will do any kind of UVs. The more polygons it has, the harder it will be to do UVs. That's in general rule. Doesn't always work, but usually it does, especially if you are using automated methods. Okay, so accept it, and now it should work really quickly. Let's use auto unwrap. And you can see that now you have here weird grass-like creature. Okay, that actually wasn't one of my best demonstrations, but I think that now you have some idea how it should work. Okay, let's accept it all. Ta-da! It's done. One more thing I forgot to show you before. You, of course, when you are sculpting something, you can also sculpt the other direction, which means down in this case. So if I press left button, it goes up. And if I click control and left button, it goes down. And with shift smoothing, as I said. Okay, that was just a quick one. Of course, like button. <laughs> you can now go around and jump on that weird grass-like creature. Witcher approved. For confirmed. Okay, that's everything. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, join the Discord and tell me about it. And that's about it. Surfancy out.